let's look at an application with our locker gates. So we have this function p of h that's uh, measuring atmospheric pressure and h is the kilometers above sea level. So we want to find the height of a mountain where the atmospheric pressure is 620 milliliters of mercury. So what we're given is the amount of pressure, so P is 620. What we want to find is H. So plugging into our formula here, we know 620, so that's going to go on the left-hand side of the equation. And then on the right-hand side, we have everything, and we want to solve for H. And what I can see is that H is in the exponent there, so I know I'm going to have to solve for the exponent. And in order to do that, we're going to need logarithms. Now, with solving this using logarithms, so I can see I have this value, I have this basic E, I have this exponent, but I've got this extra stuff multiplying on the outside. And in order to switch from exponential and logarithmic form, like think about our exponential form, we talked about how that's y equals b to the x, and then we can move over to logarithm form of log base b of y equals x. So moving between those two. But notice with our exponential form, there isn't extra stuff multiplying. Okay, there is an extra step multiplying out front. So with that, we need to move things around first. Basically, what we want to do is isolate this base and exponent before we change to logarithmic form. So to do that, I'm going to divide both sides by 760. And what I'm going to do is, because if you plug this in a calculator, it gets pretty messy. And I want to keep things as accurate as possible for as long as possible. So I'm going to leave this as the fraction. And you could reduce it if you want to, but that's not too important since eventually we will, we will just plug it into a calculator. So I'm just going to leave that as 620 over 760 equals e to the negative 0.145h. And now that I'm in this form, I can see value, base, exponent. And those are my only three pieces. There are no other operations happening around that. So now I can move to logarithm form. So we're solving for our exponent. So I'm going to put that on one side of the equation. So negative 0.145h equals a logarithm base e. So we'll have a natural logarithm of, and then that value, 620 over 760. And then to solve for h, all we need to do is divide by that negative 0.145. I'm going to divide by negative 0.145, divide by negative 0.145. And again, just to emphasize all of that, the 620 over 760 is all inside the logarithm, and this is like a block. You can't break it up, we can't divide in that negative 0.145 because that number is stuck inside there. So for an exact value, h is this natural log of 620 over 760 over negative 0.145. But if we need it, needed to make a sentence here, that doesn't make much sense. So let's go to our calculator. So I'll go ahead and set up a fraction in the numerator will have natural log of 620 over 760 and then in the denominator negative 0.145 so we're getting we'll go ahead and round that to one decimal place 1.4 so this mountain mountain well wow, that's a little mountain it is 1.4 kilometers above sea level. And that would be our answer. So there's a little bit of solving equations, 
and using our calculator with our logarithms.